What's up, Night Owl? Still here back with another video, and today we're going to be cooking a recipe out of the Heroes Feast Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. Now, if you're like me, your first thought when you heard about this book was probably, wow, that's a little bit ridiculous. And you're right, but there are actually some pretty interesting recipes in this book. I saw some on Twitter. Uh, some people, some of the higher ups at Wizard were posting that. Also, some YouTubers were posting it. And I even found some videos of people actually cooking some recipes out of there. And that made me want to try to cook a recipe out of here. So I, I went through and I, I wanted to find something simple. I wanted something with eggs in it. Eggs are eggs are hard to screw up. Now, like the super simple recipes in here, there's actually some drinks in the back. You just mix those, no cooking involved. I wanted something with at least some cooking. And uh, I, I decided to look for eggs to see if that was something that was in here. Because again, eggs are really, really hard to screw up. And I actually managed to find one in the elven cuisine section, the elven cuisines, there is there is a recipe called Feywild Eggs. So we're gonna try and make that today. And I might just make this like a weekly thing where I cook one recipe out of this book. So if that's something you'd like to see, let, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, let's cook some eggs. The first part of the recipe is nine eggs. Next, we're gonna need a yellow onion. Now I'm using a white onion here because I had extra, but the recipe calls for one whole yellow onion. Next, we're gonna need a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, a third of a cup of finely chopped mixed fresh herbs. I'm using parsley and basil, but the recipe uh, says you could use dill, mint, or anything like that, celery le leaves if you like. I'm using parsley and basil. You're also gonna to need to shred some cheese, five ounces, and then salt and pepper. Once we have the ingredients, our first step is to preheat the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and add all nine of those eggs to a mixing bowl. Now, I wanna go ahead and mention that you should put the skillet on the oven. I didn't show it in the video, but you, you should go ahead and get the skillet warmed up while you're doing this, so that way it's ready for the next ingredients. Add the parsley and basil, follow that up by adding the, the Parmesan cheese, add a bit of pepper, salt, and then whisk it up. Now we're gonna want that skillet at about a medium heat. Now the recipe calls for olive oil, but I prefer to butter my pans. This is really a personal preference in my opinion. The recipe says olive oil, I like butter. Go ahead and add those onions to the skillet and then stir those up while they start to brown. Be careful with this part because you don't want to burn these onions. You want them to slow cook, get nice and soft, get that moisture out of them, and then slowly soften up. When the onions are sauteed, it's time to add our egg mixture concoction to the pan. First, we're gonna whisk it up just a bit more, make sure it's nice and even across, and then we're gonna add that to the pan. Once you add that egg mixture to the pan, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and blend in those onions with the egg mixture. And be careful, I actually had to turn down the heat here because I had it up too high. My, my eggs were starting to cook too fast. So check your heat, make sure your eggs don't, don't start cooking too fast. If you have to start scraping the bottom, that means your heat's too high, go ahead and turn that down. Once the center starts to bubble up, it's time to add that cheese. Now my cheese ended up being a bit clumpy because I, sh I pre-shredded it so that I could record it for the video. After, after you add the cheese across the top, nice and even, you're gonna wanna add it to the oven. And we're gonna bake that until the center is set and the frittata has started to puff. This should take about 14 minutes. While we let that cook, I'm gonna read a bit of lore about these Feywild eggs. You see, each of these recipes actually has, a, has one or two paragraphs 
uh, about the the history of the recipe used and what they use it for and things like that i thought that was pretty cool uh, each of these recipes actually has some lore behind it that you can add to your game and you can add any of these recipes that you cook yet you can actually taste them and use them as a frame of reference in your game i don't know why i just really like the the idea of this book i was i was so skeptical of it at first but once i got it started reading through it I, i've definitely grown to appreciate the things about this book but I, I can definitely tell you it's not for everyone i just really like the idea of cooking dd recipes and using using these as a frame of reference in my games so when you know if, if people look at the menu at a tavern you can kind of lift off some some things like the fey wild eggs and things like that uh there is a parallel plane to the prime the one that contains all known worlds of the multiverse known as the fey wild or the plane of fairy from which sylvan creatures such as pixies, satyrs, unicorns, dryads, and the like originated. It was in this mirror realm, bathed in eternal twilight and ethereal luminescence, that all elven kind was birthed from swirling limitless magic, including the Eladrin, elves with an unfathomably deep connection to the seasons. Unfathomable. Unfathom. Unfathom. The... These elves, who still call the Fey Dimension home, boast a highly intuitive link with nature and are able to craft incredible meals with near-perfect combinations of ingredients like yours truly. One dish, known as Fey Wild Eggs, is a delightful presentation of creamed, herbed, and fluffed eggs completed over even heat for a golden crisp finish. Some have claimed this simple recipe descended from the Lache, an immortal breed of Fey Elves with in, in quotations, elves in quotations, with incredible godlike powers. Thankfully, you don't need to visit the Feywild to try these eggs. An elf of good repute has vouched that this concoction is fairly authentic Eladrin eating. Feywild eggs. Once the frittata is out of the oven, we're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Gently run a flexible non-stick spatula around the edge of the frittata to loosen it and ease it onto a serving plate. Let that cool for 15 minutes, cut it into wedges, and serve warm or at room temperature. My biggest issue with my Feywild eggs was the, was the cheese. I wish I would have spent more effort kind of letting the eggs or the cheese spread out a bit it kind of ended up clumped up in the center it was still really delicious but the the centery part the, the center part was much more cheesy than the than the outer areas as you can see here hey thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know how youtube works hit those buttons leave a comment down below let me know if you like this series you want to see more of these recipes cooked uh, I could definitely post some, maybe in the Discord, post a list of some of the recipes, and you guys let me know which ones you want to see. Or if you have the book yourself and you'd like to see me try it first and screw it up before you uh, learn from my mistakes, you just let me know in the comments below. Uh, I want to do these once a week, like every Saturday, maybe cook one of these recipes up. I can shop for the groceries throughout the week. Cook one up at the end of the week, and we'll see how it goes. Post the video that day, and there we go. So I hope you like that. If you do, let me know in the comments. If you want to be a part of this D&D community, make sure you join the Discord, link in the description. Come by, ask questions, let me know what you think. And as always, I'll see you at sundown.